Uh, okay, let's move into a discussion of total joint replacements. Um, why would someone want to replace their joint? <laughs> it sounds, sounds funny, doesn't it? Um, basically, somebody, the most common people that we see with, uh, with, uh, who need joint replacements are uh, elderly people uh, with arthritis, osteoarthritis, wear and tear arthritis. We are also seeing younger people with this, and so uh, we're being a little more aggressive with them in re uh, replacing their joint. Uh, but for the most part, it's osteoarthritis, people who have pain walking, standing, uh, bending, sleeping. Okay. So let's say you have severe arthritis in a hip or a knee. Um, what would be the first line of treatment? Well, the first thing we do would you know, be to examine the patient, make sure that this is what they have, that they have arthritis, uh, and then counsel them on their uh, options. And you want to start conservatively. Uh, you'd ask them, you know, see if weight is an issue, see if they could lose some weight because uh, that can help decrease the stress. Also, strengthening the joint can help. Um, if you build up the muscles around the joint, that's going to help make the joint feel better, take the stress off the bones. Mm -hmm. So physical therapy, is that where people get their strengthening from? Yeah, where we can give them a home program, sure. Mm -hmm. And um, you've mentioned exercise. It um, sounds funny. You know, when I, when I move or walk, it hurts, but, and yet exercise is considered a treatment for arthritis. Yeah, arthritis is, the, the, the problem with arthritis is that your joints are getting stiff and sore. And so the, the benefit of exercise is that you keep them mobile, you keep them moving, and you try to uh, almost keep them lubricated, try to keep the the uh, door from becoming stuck, you know, the hinge from getting creaky. You want to try to keep it moving. Right. Okay. So let's say I have arthritis in my hip or my knee. I've tried weight loss. I've tried an exercise program. I'm using Tylenol or Motrin. Um, I've tried other medications and nothing is helping me. The pain is, you know, I uh, intractable. Mm. Um, how, uh, how do I proceed from there? Well, there are, uh, for the knee, there are other injections, like a cortisone injection, or there's another uh, injection called a lubricating injection. And what that can do is help uh, basically give, give you a few more months, maybe. It doesn't cure it. It doesn't make it better. It can help with the pain. It can get you to go on that vacation if you want to go on that vacation, if you have a wedding coming up, to maybe do that. But it, it, it buys you some time. Uh, okay, and then let's say I've tried those things. They helped me a bit. Um, I'm considering surgery. Uh, talk to me a little bit about yeah. what is the surgery exactly. Sure. Uh, well, for here's a knee, and I brought an actual knee uh, model in. This is actually what happens. A lot, of, a lot of people with, say, a knee replacement, they think that we do different things to the knee, uh, you know, such as detach it and reattach it. But I wanted to sort of help people with the, the concept of it. Uh, so this is the thigh bone model, the femur. This is the, the tibia. And what happens is the, you put this on the end of the bone, and it bends. And here's a picture here. There we are. So it bends like that. It bends like that. And I have an actual model here of, of what it looks like when it's finally done. So here's the, the knee bending. So this is a model of, of normal bone. The um, thigh bone, the leg bone, and your knee joint. And then the, the gray part and the red represents what you'd actually be using as what instruments we would put to put in. in. There, yeah. And what we're doing now is we've uh, found that we can do this through a smaller incision, uh, often termed minimally invasive, where you can make a smaller incision and uh, do the same job, but without taking down as much of the patient's anatomy uh, that, we used, you know, that we used to do or were trained to do. So with the minimally invasive uh, surgery, you're able to do less harm to the normal healthy tissue around the joint? Right. The, the thinking used to be that you needed to open everything up and get a good view, but we found that you can still get a good view without doing as, as much harm to the patient. Excellent. Yeah. Um,